Ten grand missing in Danbury tonight. The Abbott Tech High School class of 1992 says they paid their class dues 20 years ago to fund their reunion this Saturday, but the money is now gone. Fox Connecticut's Bo Berman is with us now to explain what's happening just a couple of days before the reunion, Bo. Yeah, Brent, that's right. The class, they'll tell you that they each paid $35 in dues from 1988 to 1992 with the promise it would pay for their five and then 20 year reunions. The money was set aside by their school in a bank account, which the school controlled under the watch of the Department of education. The five year went fine, but fast forward to today, and suddenly they're being told the money's gone and receiving very little explanation from the state. The Henry Abbott Technical Class of 1992, bright eyed at graduation, looking forward to a great future. Class President Dan Gaeta, classmate Colleen Buckley, they, along with everyone else, paid $35 in class dues each year to fund reunions. The issue was black and white. Five years later, they'd come together. The reunion would go fine, funded by their dues. But this year, planning of the 20th reunion hit a snag. It's just wrong. It's just wrong, you know? Gaeta discovered a big problem in January when he asked for a $500 deposit to rent this pavilion. The fund had suddenly dropped from $9,000 in June 98 to zero a year later in July 99, with little explanation. The Connecticut Technical High School system said the students' money couldn't be used because the class back in 1992 didn't specifically designate how the money would be used, so it went back to the general fund. Making four something an hour, you know, $35 a year was a lot of money for us to come up with. But after Gata requested an accounting of the fund in February, their position reversed. Seen in this email, where state official Beatrice Tinty tells Gata that they are reestablishing the account. The balance is $9,000, and they will issue a check for any expenses related to the class reunion. But months later, this Tuesday, the same state official told Gaeta that this internal audit reveals that they, in fact, couldn't use the money just four days before the reunion. You can see the heartbreak, the frustration, and the anger from all of our fellow classmates. Classmates like Jason Whitman, who drove from Kentucky, and others flying from Florida. Classmates like Derek Botticelli, who died last year. The class planned to donate $7,000 of the fund to his son Dominic's 529 college plan. Now that's in jeopardy. So we visited the Department of Education for answers. The Connecticut Technical High School System is working under the advisement of the State Department's Office of Internal Audit. And that is all that I can share with you at this time. The superintendent is presently away from her office. She will be back on Monday. But for this group of graduates, after months of planning and years of waiting, Monday is simply too late. In this dilemma, which seemed so black and white and has now turned a shade of gray. There's got to be answers. What happened here was wrong. And, and there's got to be a solution. Now, we didn't stop with the assistant superintendent there. We asked her where the money is and why it can't be accessed, questions she refused to answer today. Meanwhile, she tells us her office is under the advisement of the Office of Internal Audit for the state. We made multiple requests all day long on the phone through email to speak with the auditor, Richard LeMay, but were denied the opportunity to ask him directly what is going on. Yes, something smells a little bit there. That's, uh, that's not right. So what are they going to do if they can't get the money by Saturday? Yeah, Brian, that's a good question. So they're not really sure right now. Their one idea is to have a scaled down version of what they had planned, try and scrape up any money that they can and just try to pay for this by themselves at the last minute. All right. Well.